Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Best ages to be alive tier list. Zero to four S tier. This is literally the best time to be alive. You have no responsibilities, no school, no nothing. Plus, you have not one, but two servants who will wipe your ass cheeks and feed you the second you start to cry. Five to 11 A tier. This is when life starts to get tough and you start losing all them baby privileges. Yo, wipe my two booty cheeks, peasant. Boy, have you lost your mind? Cause no, no, no. I'll help you find it. Now you gotta go to school, but at least you get friends to hang out with. 12 to 17 is exactly like the last one, but with puberty and more responsibilities. B tier, 18 to 20, C tier. Sure, you can drive a car by yourself, but now you can get drafted into the military and go to prison. Best part about it is that society classifies you as an adult, even though you're just as lost in life as when you were any younger. 21. Until you die, B tier. By this point in your life, you should have every Everything figured out and you should be able to live comfortably with your disappointments ranking snacks to start let's just get all the top tier snacks out the way sour cream pringles spicy hot chili dorito bag of chips limited edition dora food snacks you if your favorite snack ain't one of these i either forgot or it's me now let's get on with the rest of the list cream pies no, no, you nasty people is not what you think. This is what I'm talking about. Screw little Debbie and her dirty ass mind for naming it this. But these joints, these joints right here taste good. For the name alone, it goes on B tier. All the classic flavors. Hate me all you want, but you know there's better flavors out there. So it can't go any higher than this. Have you ever had your dreams destroyed? Do you have trust issues? If you said yes, you've probably taken a bite from a raisin cookie thinking it's chocolate chip. And this is where it belongs. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. You know what doesn't make any type of sense. School drills. Imagine this. Some dangerous psychopath pulls up to your school. What do you do? If you thought hiding in the corner and waiting for a miracle while pissing your pants was the right answer, then congratulations, you're about to be put on a t-shirt. Why does every school think that hiding in the corner is the only solution? Sure, it might buy you some time, but like, come on, switch it up. Like, yo, start hiding kids under the floorboards or something. Everybody knows about this bum-ass corner and ain't no psychopath that pulls up on a Monday morning gonna assume that there's no kids after seeing them get dropped off by the school bus. And don't even get me started on them tornado drills. Because what do you think covering your head and throwing your ass back is gonna do to stop a tornado? Your last moments alive is gonna look hella stupid. You better hope heaven don't got no kill cam replay, cause that's embarrassing. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. We ranking water. The Sani is hot garbage. If you drink the Sani, you might as well say you drink ass water. I swear, Dasani is just toilet water in a bottle. If I was ever dying of thirst and there was a bottle of Dasani water next to me, I would rather still drink it. You're, you're tweaked if you think I'm gonna die. Warm water is it. The only reason it isn't garbage is because you can cool it down. Rain water, A tier. I know if you ever get caught lacking without an umbrella, it's annoying, but it don't deserve for little kids to sing a diss track on it every time it rains. Like bruh, there's kids in Ohio dying of thirst. <laughs> Wishing for it to rain. And you out here wishing for it to go away? You ungrateful bastard? If we ever have a drought, it's on you, little Billy. And your dumbass diss track. Fire hydrant water. S tier. Forget putting out fire. This in the summertime goes stupid. Who needs a water park when the fire hydrant is out there squirting faster than an OnlyFans model? Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Ranking swear words. Damn is barely a curse. It's more of a sentence enhancer. Like saying damn you isn't hurting anybody's feelings unless you're in kindergarten and haven't unlocked the vocabulary. DLC to say meaner words. D tier. This also applies to the word hell. But depending on how religious the person is, it could do massive bonus damage. C tier. Tits is a C tier word. I don't know if people even consider this one to be a swear word. It means the same thing as breasts. The only difference is that you can say breasts all day long and they'll give you a medical degree for it. But the second you say tits, now everyone is looking at you funny. Fuck is a staple of the English language. It, it sounds mean and it is mean. It's what the little babies saying damn really want to say but can't. It goes on A tier. We all know what goes on top. There are consequences to saying the N word. Why? How do you know? Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Off-brand foods are so valid. Sure, you never know the pleasures of eating the limited edition Dora Fruit snacks. 
but but I promise you, you'll never go hungry buying fruit smiles. Baloney the polar bear here has saved more wallets than Tony's greedy ass could ever hope for. Sure, they're not great, but they're high. And that's another thing. Cheap food in general is valid. People stay roasting Little Caesars saying that it tastes like cardboard. But you know what tastes worse than cardboard? Starvation. Ah. Little Caesars can serve me raccoon ankles in a box, and as long as it's $6 and tastes good, I'm going feral on it. Oh, oh, but that's weird, Proto. Yeah, and so what's a random guy drinking cow's milk? But look at where we're at now. People also stay hating at McDonald's because their food never rots. But what did you expect eating out of a dollar menu? I'm ecstatic about the fact that it's even edible, let alone that it costs a dollar. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. I gotta know what goo 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 goofster came up with fire drills. Imagine this, you're at school, and out of nowhere you hear somebody call 911 shoddy fire burning Whoa. what do you do if you said line up by the wall wait for your teacher's instructions and quietly walk outside a burning building by walking through the burning building is the right answer then i hope you're religious because you're about to meet god like yo some teachers really had the audacity during these drills like i swear the amount of times i heard the phrase we are moving until you're silent is insane like, do teachers forget that in this scenario, their lives are also on the line? And how are you for real risking my life because other people are talking? Listen, I will play along with these drills, but best believe the second the building starts trying to turn me into a 20-piece Chicken McNugget, I'm zooming out of there. Top four excuses to get out of any situation. Get arrested. What is your job or school going to do about it? Bail you out? You know for a fact they don't care about you that much. This excuse might land you in prison, but as long as you're cool with criminals, this method is valid. Pretend to be dead. It is a well-known fact that dead people are unable to do anything. So if you ever needed an excuse to not show up to work or school or anything for the rest of your life, this is the one for you. Now everyone knows that pretending to be sick is a classic way to get out of work for a day or two. But if you want to take a vacation, Bruh, eat anything from the Arby's menu. Now you'll be hospitalized and miss weeks of work. If eating from Arby's is too painful, the acidity of a McDonald's Sprite or the dryness of a Popeye's biscuit will also do the job. The best excuse is no excuse at all. Straight up, tell these dudes you don't want to do it. They can't force you to do nothing, so might as well not do it at all. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Ranking water, part two. Ice is eight here. I wanted to put it at S because not only is it refreshingly juicy and you can eat it like a water flavored Jolly Rancher, but the way restaurants be hoeing us by giving us a drink that's 98.5% ice downgrades it to an A. Snow is B tier only because it looks pretty and because of snow days. Other than that, this is why it's B tier. Hail is garbage. It's just nature attacking humanity with ice for making Ohio. Sparkling water is horrible. It tastes like TV static. It tastes like an unfinished sneeze. It tastes like ass. Water at... Anyone who drinks still water is excommunicated permanently. Water at 3 a.m. or after a workout hits harder than your mom with a chancla. That's an easy ass. Don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Here are some things I don't understand about school. Number one, why do teachers make you read the most complicated things? These people really have the audacity to make you read Shakespeare in middle school and tell you not to get the translated version of it. Like, bro, this man is speaking in Rubik's Cube. What do you mean don't get the translated version? Number two, why do we have to raise our hands to use the bathroom? Who is out here deciding that a basic human need is something that we need permission to do? The funniest part about it is when the teacher denies you of those bathroom privileges. Like, bro, are you serious? If people need to nuke the bathroom, let them nuke it. Because the alternative is the whole classroom smelling like Billy's ass crack. Number three, the way teachers be arguing with little kids. Like, bro, how are you beefing with a 13-year-old? They be out here yelling at kids like if they owe the money. Best part about it is if you try talking back to them, you're getting detention, suspended, expelled, prosecuted, and deported out of the country. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. I'm ranking the days of the week. Let's get the obvious out the way. Saturday solos, no difficulty. Now, I know the Sunday fans are a little salty, but let's keep it a real. Let's keep it a buck. The fact that Sunday is so close to Monday ruins the vibe so much that it turns Sunday into a prep day for Monday. On the other hand, the immaculate vibes that Saturday gives off are so powerful that it carries Friday into third place. Now, I know this may be controversial, but Monday deserves to be fourth place. Hold on, hold on, relax. 
Anytime there's a holiday, guess what day we're getting off? Not Thursday, not Wednesday, but Monday. Them three-day weekend be hitting harder than Mike Tyson in an airplane. And for that, it deserves to be fourth place. We gonna wrap this up. Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday all absolutely suck. And since they love to suck, they can suck my fat ass while they're at it. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Ranking animals. Rats are like roaches on steroids. They're bigger and faster. We'll rob you of any food. We'll live in your house rent free. And we'll eat your cables just to be dickheads. I will put them at the lowest rank, but they are kind of cute. They make good pets. And these are the banger called Ratatouille. You know how I said that rats are like roaches on steroids? Well, raccoons are like rats on crack. Not only do they mess with you like rats, but they will attack you. No cavity, they're C tier. Goldfish are so valid. They don't really do anything. They don't complain. They don't make noise. They just swim. I'm not even sure if they realize that they're alive. They're literal bots. And don't even get me started on clownfish. Cause now I know what you've been waiting for. Cats versus dogs. And let me just say that every dog is S tier. Except for chihuahuas. Everybody knows chihuahuas are rats in disguise. But dogs will literally sacrifice their lives for you. Cats, on the other hand, be mad sassy. Like, bro, you get fed, you get housed, and you get cared for. For free! Some people don't even let their kids live in the house for free. But their cuteness kind of negates all that, so they're A tier. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. I hate back to school ads. First off, why them kids look so happy to be going back? Like, stop the cabaret. Ain't nobody wanna go back. That's like if somebody started celebrating for getting a nine month prison sentence. It don't make sense. The, 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 the teachers don't even wanna be there. I don't wanna do this no more. And they're getting paid, so imagine how the students feel going there against their will. Uh... Most definitely not like this. Secondly, them back to school ads are certified vibe killers. <laughs> vibe murderers, even. <laughs> Cause even after you graduate, hearing that phrase back to school, I swear, will give you Vietnam flashbacks. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. As y'all already know, summer is almost here and you cannot be caught lacking in these streets looking like this. So your boy is gonna put you onto some real drip for that summer heat. Top three, drippiest things for the summer. Everyone loves jewelry, but jewelry be too damn expensive and they don't even look that nice half of the time. If you want some real drip, walk into your local deli and buy yourself a ring pop and candy chains. Now you got ice on your fingers, ice on your neck, and a little snacky snack on the go. If you really thought for a second about wasting any type of money on any of these sneakers, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're a clown. Everyone knows that the best footwear to have for any season is the Lightning McQueen Healy Crocs. Like, yo, who's really gonna stop you from taking anyone's girl or man when they see you pop out in these bad boys? Lastly, to complete any type of look, just copy everything Guy Fieri is wearing. The drip on this man is immaculate. Look at his shades. Look at the flames in his shirt. Look at the cut. No wonder he's the mayor of Flavortown. Homie got taste. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. I hate cigarettes. To start off, the smell. Anybody who smokes cigarettes smell like they just escaped a burning building. They smell like burnt chicken. They smell like ass. Worst part about it is that no amount of perfume can get the stench of deep fried lungs off of you. Secondly, you got smokers out here running out of breath, wheezing and coughing from walking on the block like they ran a marathon when the only thing that they're running is out of time. Whoa! Thirdly, and my biggest reason for making this video is that cigarettes simply suck ass. I'm tired of people having the audacity to pollute my personal space with their cancer sticks. Worst part about it is that breathing smoke is just as bad as smoking it itself. So I'm catching lung cancer thanks to other people's bad decisions. And if you have bad asthma and you ever get caught lacking without your inhaler by one of these walking chimneys, I hope you're British because you're about to meet the queen. Moral of the story, go find another addiction that isn't going to kill you and everyone around you like knitting or, or beating your meat or something. Damn! Breathe air! Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Ranking water part three. The ocean is B tier. It mocks humanity by making up damn near the entire planet and not being drinkable. But, but Proto, the fishes, forget them damn fishes. I will sacrifice Nemo myself if it meant that I can drink the ocean water. Pool water is C tier. I swear there's more piss than actual water in here. Toilet water, bath water, faucet water, S tier. Sure, you can't drink it, but without them, you would smell like ass, and your ass would smell like shit. So you do the math. They're valid. Ketchup water. Garbage tier. This one, you can drink, but if you do, you either lost the bet or you hate yourself. Watermelon is A tier. It's a food and a drink combined. Oh, oh, the refs don't look very happy. They don't think that it should count as water. Oh, oh, they're bringing out the red card. They're bringing it out. But oh my god, here comes the coach to challenge the call. And it's going to an audience decision. An audience decision. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Times I've been lied to. When people say violence is never the answer. Bro, yes it is.
sometimes. If it wasn't the answer, how come all these fighters are richer than me? Y'all are gatekeeping or something, because it ain't adding up. Also, if somebody smacked your handicapped grandma, you telling me you ain't finna hit them back with a 20-piece chicken McNugget combo? Because me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. 99 cent stores. Everything in this hole costs more than 99 cents. I'm surprised when I managed to find something that actually cost a dollar. Anytime someone says, let's just be friends after rejecting you. What this really means 95.7% of the time is never talk to me again before I get a restraining order on you. You're gonna have to take that L. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Ranking characters that I can easily beat in a fight. Dora, first off she's blind. Second off she's like seven. She might be able to make some bomb ass limited edition fruit snacks, but she ain't gonna be able to take this bomb ass uppercut. I will obliterate her. Avatar Aang. No, 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 I know what you may be thinking. Little crazy because he can control the elements, but you know what he can't control? The dog inside of me. Bro, it's too friendly. The second he turns his back on me, I'm pulling out the Mac. No apple. It's not cheating. If they can have superpowers, I can have a weapon. Rigby. Unless his job is on the line, he is a pack. Rigby with no plot armor can't even beat Mordecai and Punchies. So what you gonna do with that karate topping in his throat? Absolutely nothing. He'll probably disintegrate. I will admit he is more of a challenge though. The Little Caesar's mascot. Bro got high cholesterol. His diet is straight pizza. He'll probably catch a heart attack walking to the fight. That's an easy clap. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. These prices are getting way too out of hand. Why is everything so expensive? Besides gas costing more than people's rent. Why are these skinny ass cosmic brownies being sold for 75 cents? What happened to my fat 50 cent brownies? Back in 2012, when the Mayans said the world was gonna end, they weren't talking about the world exploding. They were talking about Subway ending the $5 foot long deal. Where did you go? For the first time ever, Little Caesars is out here raising their prices. Where did you go? Dollar Tree doesn't even cost a dollar anymore. Where? And I know what you may be thinking. Paying 75 cents isn't that big of a deal. It's just inflation. A and that's a valid point. But if these prices are getting inflated, why is my minimum wage paycheck getting inflated too? Like we're straight up getting pimped out here. And I personally will not stand for it. Because it starts by paying 75 cents for a brownie. And the next thing we know, we can't afford to go to college. Oh wait, that's reality. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Yo, can we stop living through historical events? Bro. Bro, ever since 2020 hit, everything sucks. We're living through a whole ass pandemic. Global warming got the earth dropping yearly fires like EA. Yeah. Dropping FIFA games. And World War III almost happened, not once, but twice in the past two years. Like bro, can people chill out? Can we try dealing with one problem at a time? We not even done solving the pandemic and we already at risk of a nuclear war. Listen, listen here. I'm not trying to get drafted into any war just so that world leaders can fight about whose dick is bigger i've barely done anything in my whole ass life and i'll be damned if i get my ugly ass quick scope before i can even hug a girl i love my mommy like wh why do i have to die because old men are angry at each other that's their problem let them handle it war is where the young and stupid are tricked by the old and bitter into killing each other wait don't keep scrolling i'm desperate ranking the most annoying bugs roaches not only do these dudes have the all audacity to live in your house rent free but they also try to snatch up your food like if they were the ones who pay 4 dollars to buy the limited edition Dora fruit snacks these dudes are most definitely menaces and did I mention that they could fly too flies are like a downgraded version of roaches but for some reason they have twice as much energy to annoy you these dudes fly around your house as if they snorted five cans of Red Bull and they're always rubbing their hands plotting on your downfall like bruh these dudes only live for a month, but they spend every second of every day being mad annoying. Bees are valid. They make honey. Moths are valid too. People just hate them because they aren't butterflies and because they're addicted to smacking themselves on light bulbs. Mosquitoes come from the trenches of hell. These pieces of monkey crap are always trying to suck you non-consensually and they carry hella diseases on them. They're like dirty needles that leave big ass red marks and can fly. For that, they belong at the top of this list. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. The most underrated thing has to be having normal parents. All I gotta say is you better thank the Lord your mom isn't out here while and out shaking that badonka donk all over the hub and OF for $2.99. As a matter of fact, go give her a hug right now for working a regular job and living a regular life. Because let me tell you something. Them kids who got moms that are one bad Google search away. Are 
you winning, son? Go, 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 go. Are gonna get more character development than any soul movie or anime you've ever seen ever by the time any of those kids get into high school they're gonna be an avengers level threat they're gonna be unstoppable and listen while i can respect the hustle their classmates won't and if those kids even breathe wrong at school they're getting roasted and toasted wait don't keep scrolling i'm desperate top three characters you can't beat number three sprite cranberry lebron want a sprite cranberry by selling out to the Sprite gods, every winter LeBron James becomes an unstoppable being destined to clap your cheeks and feed you Sprite Cranberry. Even without the Sprite, he's still a 6'9 super athlete. Number 2, Peppa Pig, standing at 7 feet, 1 inches. Unless you play center for the NBA, she is dogging you. Regular pigs that are about 2 foot 5 or anywhere between 300 to 700 pounds. So Peppa's 7 foot candy ass, by my calculation, weighs way too damn much. Honorable mention, Mordecai. If he can tackle a bear, he can tackle your fat ass. He also gets a plus 10 attribute boost when he needs to simp. Number one, Kirby. He might not be big, but his throat go abilities gave him the power to suck the out of you. Literally. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Cheap clothes are so valid. Expensive fashion sucks. Like, yo, these are literally the same thing. You're glazing if you prefer one thing over the other because of a logo. Just because a celebrity wears it, don't make it trippy. These celebrities be out here looking homeless, and their baggy t-shirt costs more than my rent. People stay roasting homeless crackheads for looking terrible, but nobody bats an eye when celebrities look like they just finished begging for dimes. Like, I get it. Looking normal is for the common folk, and you want to look unique. But when the alternative is looking like a red Sour Patch Kid or an inflated condom, I would rather look basic any day of the week than look like that. And don't even get me started on these red boots, bruh. These Koopa Troopa boots from Dora. Goofy eye boots. Had to have been a social experiment to see how stupid we are. There's no way you should be wasting a down payment on a car to look like you belong in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. With the amount of money it takes to buy these boots, you can buy some of my new merch. Please check it out, it's swaggy. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Biggest rivalries of all time. Lungs versus smokers. 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 Lungs versus smokers. This is a rivalry that the lungs can't win. Worst part about it is that smokers damage not only their own lungs, but everyone else's lungs around them. Like, yo, go get some help and breathe some damn oxygen for once. Damn! Apple versus Android. <laughs> To be honest, this isn't even a rivalry as much as it is bullying. The Android people do be trying to fight back, so I'll give them points for that. But, but the superiority complex clogs most iPhone users' ears. Here's a fun magic trick you can do. Tell a girl you like, you got an Android, and watch how fast she disappears. Dubbed versus dubbed. I've never seen two groups of people hate each other so much over how something should be watched. Like, damn! Not everyone likes reading. If they did, they'll read a book. And not everyone likes bad voice acting. At the end of the day, you're watching the same thing. Just shut up and enjoy the show. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Racist people make no type of sense. I don't want to do this no more. Like, bruh, go try the taco first and then see if you can still talk all that bullshiggity afterwards. Like, I don't get how people can be such haters that they get pressed and stressed by other people just existing because they look a little different. Like, imagine being so miserable that you try gatekeeping a whole ass country, which most likely isn't even yours to begin with, from other people minding their business and being on their grind. Like, bruh, the audacity to hate on the grind because someone looks different is insane because we're all just trying to put food on the table and like a great philosopher once said life is like a sandwich no matter what way you flip it the bread comes on top get your money up not your funny up wait don't keep scrolling i'm desperate boys my female demographic has been going down so to counter that i'm dedicating this one to the girls Top red flags to look out for. If he's under six feet, he's gotta go. Ladies, if your man ain't tall enough to play as a small forward in the NBA, then what are you doing? Everyone knows anyone who's 5'11 and below is a dwarf midget who deserves no coaching, period. If he don't believe in astrology, he gotta go. Ladies, everyone knows that astrology is 100% factual and backed up by the best scientists. Plus, everyone knows that your personality has 0% to do with how you were raised and 100% to do with how the stars light years away says about the random day you were born period if he's got an android he's gotta go if his text messages don't appear blue he's clearly a broke boy like if he's got to set up a whole zoom conference call to talk to you he's clearly not worth it and deserves no poo poo period 
Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. We ragging time. 6.30 a.m. to 4.59 p.m. D tier. I know you're waking up tired as hell. People really just be waking up to get stuck in traffic, go to work, and get yelled at by strangers. Best part about it is that no matter how much sleep you get, you're waking up tired. 5 to 6.59 p.m. C tier. This is the time you usually come back home from work, but by then your dignity probably hurts from getting shitted on all day, and you're probably still stuck in traffic. 7 to 11.59 p.m. B tier. Uh, this is usually great vibes. You get to relax a little bit before going to bed, unless you got homework or something to do. 12 to 6.29 a.m. A tier. There's only three things you could be doing at this time. Sleeping, working, or getting late. Whether you're sleep deprived because you've been talking to the boys past your bedtime, or doing the homework and procrastinating ass should have done earlier, it's quiet as hell. And that's relaxing. So I give it bonus points. Anytime on Saturday, S tier. You get to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Yeah, I know the weather is getting hotter than Satan's ass crack out here. And with hot weather comes SHUT UP! So y'all know what time it is. Spiders. I don't care what nobody says, they walk, talk, and act like a bug. So they're getting put on the list. Not only do they live in your crib, have a million babies, but the really mean ones will attack you like if they paint right up in that hole. They get bonus points because they eat other bugs. Spotted flies are menaces. These spotted bastards took over the country faster than the British, and they also kill plants at alarming rates, like the British. Praying mantises are so valid. They're like living, breathing bug spray. They're great. Bed bugs. First came the roaches who ate up all my food. Then came the ants who stole the remaining food. And now here comes the bed bugs to literally steal the nutrients out of my body. Satan was definitely in his bag when he created these bastards. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. I hate recaptchas. What the hell is even that? These things don't work. You want to know how I know that they don't work? Here's a robot proving that they don't work. Bruh. Worst part about it, they seem to be getting more complicated. Does anyone remember back in the day when all you had to do was type out a few letters? Or, or, or better yet, back when they didn't exist. Weren't those the days? Now you gotta decipher Minecraft enchantment table text before you can even log into Roblox. Like, bro, it's not that deep. I'm trying to play a game, not hack into NASA. I just think it's kind of funny that on top of the fact that these things don't work, they have the audacity to tell me if I'm human or not. Like, bro, how is a robot trying to tell me if I'm human? Better yet, how is a robot snitching on other robots? My fault, they don't snitch. Because back when a PS5 was hard to get, we was out here trying to figure out what's a crosswalk, while scalpers used their bots to buy out the store. Come on, man. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Ranking real life jump scares. Holding your mom's place at the supermarket. Ah! B tier, I swear they leave you here until the very last second on purpose, knowing damn well you ain't got no money to pay for none of the crap that they bought. Ah! Skipping a step while going down the stairs. C tier, it only lasts for a moment, but in that moment, you see your life and dreams flash before your eyes. Putting your keys and wallet in the wrong pocket. This is the type of fear that will make you responsible for the next few days. The mini heart attack you get from thinking that someone is going to steal your identity and break into your house will make an atheist pray to God. Ah! S tier, receiving a bad report card. This is scary simply because of the fact that you're not sure what's going to happen to you. Will your parents yell at you? Probably. Would they call you a disappointment? Most definitely. Or would they skip all of that and get straight to the ass beating? Most certainly. Oh. A tier. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Ranking the best feelings in the world. Getting that first sippy sip of cold water on a crispy ass summer day. While initially there is no greater feeling of ecstasy, you can experience the feeling doesn't last too long. And once you drink up all that water, guess what? You're back to being hot. B tier. Sleeping when you're tired is cool by itself. But sleeping like this? Oh my lord. There is no sweeter sensation than doing this on a cold night. It's too bad that it only works in cold rooms or else this would have gone on S tier. Blowing up the bathroom after a stomach ache is C tier. I know some people might be mad at this, but in order to feel that sweet sensation of relief, you had to go through a lot of pain. Achieving your dreams is a cool A tier. Only because once you've achieved everything you wanted in life, there's nothing else for you to do but die. And that's really boring. Following Royal Proto. This is an easy C tier. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Things I'll never do. Skydiving. The second that parachute doesn't deploy, <laughs> you're becoming a statistic and getting put on a t-shirt. Bungee jumping. I ain't putting my life in the hands of a strong string. <laughs> 
Even if the string holds up, the heart attack I'ma have is gonna take me out. Cave exploring in some really tight caves. My fat ass is 110% getting stuck between some of these musty ass rocks. Michael, don't leave me here. It's starving to death. It's a hundred times worse than splattering on the floor. Exploring the Titanic in an unsafe submarine. Yeah, y'all can probably guess why. <gasps> Climbing buildings. No disrespect to the people that do this. But what are y'all training for? Who are your ops? Is it Kratos? Boy. Or are y'all just trying to be an Avenger? Either way, miss me with that. Things I hate about school, homework. How come we get more work to do after work? Like imagine if McDonald's did that. Right before you finish your shift, they give you 50 patties to cook at home and bring back the next day. People will be so salty if they had to do extra work on their free time. Yet here's school giving out packets and essays like candy on Halloween. Paying to go to college, why is this a thing, bruh? This makes about as much sense as paying your job for the opportunity to go to work. You're paying for stress. Like how I look like being stressed and broke. Like damn, let me pick a struggle. Rude teachers. I swear, these people become teachers just to bully kids or something. Like, how are you gonna wake up every day and start problems with little kids? Worst part about it is if you don't like the teacher, there's only two things you can do about it. Absolutely nothing and like it. Paying for textbooks. Why is this still a thing? It ain't the 1920s. Bro, just send me a link to the Wikipedia page or something. Damn! You out here charging me $100 for a book that's gonna be outdated within the next year. People stay hating on Wikipedia, but at least that gets regular updates and it's free. Top four biggest mistakes you could ever make. Number one, spelling I cup in elementary school. My God, if you have ever been a victim of spelling these letters out loud, you are probably eligible for some kind of therapy session for the trauma you had to endure that entire day. Number two, making any type of noise during silent reading time. If you happen to be the unfortunate soul to so much as breathe too loudly or God forbid, sneeze during silent reading time. I just want to know, how aren't you locked up in jail right now for that felony? Number three, Play fighting with your sibling and hitting them way too damn hard by mistake. The fear and desperation to get them to stop crying before your parents hear you is unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Number four! Closing the door too hard after arguing with your parents. Lord have mercy if you have ever done this by accident. Because if you have, I am unsure how you are still alive. And if this is you, I would like to personally honor you with this badge for surviving. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. For many decades, philosophers have asked the question, what is sus? Or glizzy sus? Or are bananas the most sus thing we can eat? Not to worry, boys. I have the answers. <laughs> To begin, putting any kind of cylinder shaped meat in your mouth is kind of crazy. Especially when the meat juice starts smacking your taste buds. I'ma have to put this in the A-Yo tier. There's not much to say about bananas. They're kind of like glizzies just without the meat juice. This goes on the pause tier. Being a throat goat, but a billion dollars is on the line. This one goes in the okay category. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Proto, you're tweet. However, with that kind of money, you can just buy yourself a new throat. That is life-changing money. Everyone one is making it out the hood for five minutes of slurping and i can always respect the hustle it's like a wise man once said would you rather be gay for five minutes or stupid for life now these popsicles right here they're james charles tier these popsicles are certified training wheels for anyone looking to major in throatonomics wait don't keep scrolling i'm desperate here are some terrible things when the ketchup juice squirts out of the bottle faster than the currents of niagara falls this has to be one of the worst things that can happen to your food because not only does it turn it soggy but it makes it whole damn plate into a soup when your stomach starts to hurt at the worst times like yo whether you're taking a test at a job interview or stuck in traffic i swear your stomach waits until you're at a spot in life where you can't use the bathroom to want to use the bathroom worst part about it is that the quieter the place is the louder the noise your stomach wants to make the mistake of opening a nature valley bar i swear people who make these bars must think that they're real funny thinking that they can sell us the crumbs and force us to assemble it ourselves because what is this bro like it's gotten to the point where people are really out here making tutorials on how to open them up correctly spoiler Spoiler alert, opening these up perfectly is a bigger myth than unicorns. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. You should cheat in school. No, 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 let me make this clear. If you're learning something important like how to perform open heart surgery, Kobe. your ass better be hitting them books faster than a dot starting an OnlyFans and get aced so straight that they're homophobic. But if your dream is to become a chef, there's no reason you're getting held back because you can't pass chemistry. Because last time I checked, you're trying to make a souffle, not a nuclear bomb. Legalize nuclear bombs. So cheat, write down them answers on your hands, on your sleeves, cause you know what? After you take that class, most likely, you'll never use that information again. Back 
in eighth grade. I used to know how to solve this. Now, this looks like enchantment table text to me. And don't let anyone ever slut shame you out of cheating by saying cheaters never win. Cause society's already rigged against you. So rig yourself against society. The only problem with cheating is getting caught. But fortune favors the bold. And if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Wait, don't keep scrolling, I'm desperate. Bro, what are these ads, man? Uh... No matter where I go, these ads find me. Like, who's actually downloading this game? How do they have so much money to advertise? They gotta be holding a country hostage or something. Because I refuse to believe that they have 100 million downloads. Who's playing this? Either that or there's 100 million NPCs out there performing bot behaviors. Things have gotten so bad that actual good games like Angry Birds is out here copying these ads. What is this? Look at Naruto. What are they doing? And who is lucky? And why do people in these ads think that they can commit hate crimes and get away with it? Your kid's scraping our car. What's the big deal? I'm the legendary hero Lucky. Wait, don't keep scrolling. I'm desperate. Part two. Ragging types of people in school. The class clown. I swear these be the kids that be having the worst type of depression. I can't lie though. All that character development is the reason why they're kind of funny. Just make sure to give them a hug every once in a while. A tier. The vape addicts. Get it to me. These the more folks that be skipping class to go hotbox the bathrooms. They're the most likely to drop out. C tier, the try hard. They eat, sleep, and shit schoolwork. The entitled ones are kind of annoying, but the ones that let you copy off their homework or heaven sent. S and B tier, the slacker. Bo is failing every class and somehow manages to pass every year. Best believe he cheats off the try hards. B tier, the super seniors. These are the old heads that can't pass the class. Worst part about it, they be preying on the freshmen. Like if you don't get that nasty ass on before I call the cops. Garbage tier, 